Hi, my name is Dylan Hong, and today we're going to be comparing some Bluetooth earbuds. On one side, we have the Powerbeats 2, retailing for a whopping 200 US dollars. On the other side, we have the cheap $20 imitation version on Amazon. The first thing we're going to look at is design. Clearly, the cheap earbuds borrow their design from Beats, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. In fact, I've gotten a lot of comments saying that my Beats looked cool while I was wearing the cheap earbuds. Both brands do a good job of distributing weight so the Bluetooth chipset and battery don't make for any extra burden. They both stay in surprisingly well during vigorous activity, and they even pass the flip test. You will notice that the Beats are made out of a slightly better material, and the arm that wraps around your ear is made out of a sturdy and malleable plastic and rubber that contributes to an overall better fit. However, this increase in build quality makes them almost double the weight of the cheaper brand. Beats also gives you a huge amount of color options, while the cheaper brand leaves you with three. The next thing we'll look at are technology and features. In both cases, they use Bluetooth 4.1 to connect to mobile audio devices, and the pairing is quick and easy. They both claim to be sweat resistant, both allow you to answer and take calls with a built-in microphone, and both have volume controls on the earbuds. The cheaper brand claims 8 hours of battery life, while the Beats claims 6 hours. But I'd expect the battery life to be almost identical. In the features department, our $200 Beats and our $20 Cheaps are pretty much identical. Our next category is sound quality. Immediately, I was not impressed by the Beats sound. They lack deep bass, but it's pretty clear that Beats tried to squeeze in as much as they could with the tiny drivers. The boosted bass sounds artificial, which is fine for passive listening and use at the gym, but it's not something I'd be happy about if I want to listen to music just for the music. A good thing about these though is that the mid and high ranges are actually pretty good. They're not phenomenal, but they're definitely not bad. With the cheaps, the bass is also lacking, but the bass that does exist doesn't sound heavily artificial. The mid and high ranges are okay, they're not great, but once again they're perfectly fine for passive listening and listening for exercising. Lastly, we need to talk about value. I think by this point it's pretty clear that Beats are so expensive just because of their name. For $200, if the audio isn't great, I'm expecting these guys to cook my dinner and edit my videos. And when $200 earbuds have a 3.7 star review on Amazon, they're probably not worth the price. In fact, they're not worth the $140 Amazon Prime price. For $20, the cheap brand on Amazon shares all the same exact features, has good design, and sounds decent as well. If you're looking at the pure value, Beats are pretty terrible, even after a huge markdown from the MSRP. And the cheap brand is a great value for all that they can do. Beats do have a place in the audio market. They're a fashion statement, they're a symbol of wealth, but they're not good audio. I wouldn't buy Beats because for the same price you can buy something that's much, much better and just a little less flashy. The only reason I have these is because Apple's doing the back to school promotion where you get a free set of Beats if you buy an iPad. And it wasn't even the purchase of my own iPad, my mom got them, she just used my email for the discount. And she's keeping the free Beats. These are both earbuds with the purpose of extreme portability or exercise. I've also seen a huge amount of Amazon reviews that point out the lack of durability with the Beats. With the cheaper pair, if you do break them, the seller on Amazon will probably hook you up or give you a discount, but even if they don't, it's just $20. You're not gonna have to spend $200 for a replacement. It's up to you to choose which one you want to get with all the information that I've given you, so Amazon links down in the description below. But this has all been my viewpoint, so let me know in the comments down below whether you agree, disagree, and why. Also, feel free to ask me anything in the comments down below. I really want to do a uh, Dylan responds to comments type video once a month, and I'll be looking for these questions on my Twitter, Facebook, and the YouTube comments down below. And finally, I have launched a Patreon page. For the last month, I've been putting so much into this channel, making sure I have everything set in place so it becomes a sustainable and productive channel. But I'm always looking for ways to improve my professional production quality. If you want to make an impact on my videos, there are some pretty cool rewards you can get for pledging. These include being able to directly ask me for certain types of videos, I won't be able to do them all, but you will have impact on the direction my channel's going. You can get shoutouts and you can even get some of the products that I've reviewed but no longer use. Please check that out if you want to see this channel grow into something big. And full disclosure, the reason I'm doing this Patreon is so I can produce high quality videos on a consistent basis that you guys deserve. Currently I don't have any paid sponsors but I would love to get some on board in the future as this channel grows. And don't worry, when I do get sponsored videos, I'll make sure it's completely apparent that they're sponsored and I will always 
give my completely honest and unbiased opinion on everything I review. And another way you can help out if you don't feel like pledging is to make sure you order through my Amazon affiliate links. The links in the description of all my videos as well as the link on the banner of my channel will bring you straight to Amazon and every purchase will help me out a little bit. And there's no added cost to you guys. And if you can't pledge or buy anything off Amazon, just like, comment, and share my videos and I mean that's helping me too. And I'll always keep you guys updated with all the news surrounding my channel. I'm Dylan Hong and this is Dylan Hong Tech. Thanks for watching.